and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Let's to go. In the Nest, the Emmaus Athletic Podcast. I'm your co-host Shane here with my beautiful partner Matthew Tomlinson. Matt, we're back, baby. <laughs> Shane, it has been a minute, but oh. we are back and ready to go for this season. Let's go. It's been so long, and uh, one of the newest things that has um, conspired over the summer is uh, what I just mentioned just a couple of seconds ago. We have an identity now. We, <laughs> other than other than Jesus, of mm-hmm. course, Matt, but uh, we do have a name uh, for our show, and it's In the Nest. What are your thoughts, man? I love it. I think it's really awesome, especially with that new graphic. Exactly. <laughs> and hopefully the and graphic is going to look really sweet. And yeah, so I'm really excited about just, you know, we have. Are those oh. new things that we got too? Are we? Wow. <laughs> They're go, getting a little too Eagles. fancy. They're getting too fancy. <laughs> I think it, it, it could push people away. Um, I love the name in the nest, you know, and mm-hmm. like um, a lot of jokes uh, going around of like where the where the little egg like in the nest or uh, um, just little eagles, you know, in the nest talking about um, Emmaus, you know, mm-hmm. I love it. The real eagles, the real eagles. Uh, it's been we're a while, the, man. The old cranky eagles on the porch. It's true. Back and forth talking about the, the new eagles. That I like here. that one. Mm-hmm. That's a good image, actually. It is. But it's been a hot minute since yeah, we got him in Kevin the studio. Rand. We're back, man. We're back. There we so. go. Yes. Appreciate Every, your support. Tons of people have been coming mm-hmm. to us and talking to us uh, either through um, their their visits or bringing their, uh, their kids here on campus for a freshman move-in day, freshman orientation, or the new students you know, arriving. How exciting that everyone's back yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, everyone. Uh, The returning students should be arriving today as this is Friday. What's the date? The 26th? Or Saturday. I don't know. Either way. day it is. Friday. (laughs) It's just the day of the week. That's what it is. But all the students should be back by the end of this week for sure. And, dude, classes begin the 28th. Monday. Let's go right away. Kick it off. I'm so scared for classes. Are you too? No. Yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any either. That's great. Feels good to be graduated, right? I know. So how was your summer, Matt? It was great. We did um, a lot of traveling for enrollment as you Mm -hmm. and I are both admissions counselors and we had our first ever summer athletic sports camp. Yes. So it was, oh my gosh. So it was so encouraging (laughs) having, we had men's and women's basketball, we had soccer and we had women's women's volleyball. And we had for the first year of doing it, we had a really good turnout. We're really excited for looking forward. So it was, it was just a day camp. So our goal eventually is to get it to uh, a night oh, like overnight camp for the week. And mm. So once that happens, I think it's just going to be awesome. with a lot of people signing up. So. That'd be pretty legit because mm-hmm. you guys did have good attendance. We did. With mm-hmm. uh, pretty much all the camps. Mm-hmm. Um, a good time. All the coaches really loved it. The players uh, either came back in town to help out with it mm-hmm. or they're still in town. So a lot of involvement and uh, uh, just a lot of love. Honestly. Yeah, so it was really nice having summer camps. And then um, really the for those of you that haven't followed social media or don't know yet, but we've had – Through our incredible donors out there, we have about a million dollars worth of campus visual improvements, including the gym floor and and Pollard Uh, Fieldhouse. Time out. Nothing nothing to take away from. I'm done with that eagle. (laughs) (laughs) It's so quiet to us. I don't know if it's quiet for you listeners, but like what in the do one more time. It's like it's flying by. It's crazy. I, I'm done with it. I'm done but with yeah, it. Yeah, we had a million dollars oh. worth of renovations on campus, around the whole campus this summer. It's and nice. Looking. The gym building looks fabulous. Yeah. Shout out Coach Parker for all of his work yes. on the uh He in, went, He got his area. hands dirty. He did. He put in a lot of hours this summer. He said, uh-uh, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. And he, it looks He great. put the team on his back, though. Mm-hmm. It was yeah, great. So, yeah, we had those and then just, you know, all the visits in the summer and... Um, but I didn't travel internationally like yeah. you did this summer. Tell gone. us about your, your yes. trip that you went on that you took a Maya students on to where again? Uh, yes, I was gone in Malaysia. In Malaysia. I went to Malaysia. Mm-hmm. I was gone for almost a month. Um, yeah, so you abandoned me up you, the yeah, stairs in missed, the office. You missed me a little bit. I know that, uh, mm-hmm. Um, you had to deal Thus, with everybody blame else. Blame Shane. That's why we haven't had a podcast. That's in like not three true. Months. Don't throw that on me. People are going to be coming uh, and attacking me like Mr. Ron. You know, I don't want that. You're serving the Lord overseas. Where's the podcast? Exactly. So, yeah, we went overseas. We uh, worked with uh, the churches there in Malaysia, mm-hmm. um, attended a missions conference, met a lot of people, and a you lot had of old friends. 14 from, students and alumni go with you? Uh, total. total. 14, mm-hmm. 14 total of students mm-hmm. and alum. 
uh, that or, or uh, a couple friends of the school, mm -hmm. like two of them. But uh, really awesome trip. Learned a lot, of course. You know, that's what you're going to typically mm -hmm. hear. But learned a lot about faithfulness and what it really means to uh, be faithful to the Lord in your everyday walk with Him. Uh, that's from you know for, for when the when the sun rises to when the sun uh, goes down. So uh, just waking up and um, plugging that, uh, or I guess plugging that mentality of faithfulness in mm -hmm. your everyday walk of. Um, always thinking of the Lord, always be in prayer and, and be praising him in every moment. So, um, I can get deeper into that, but I, and, but this isn't uh concerning him podcast is the Emmaus athletic podcast. So tune in to concerning podcasts for stuff like that. But I mean, you mentioned it yourself and to kind of connect it to the athletic podcast, there's tons of opportunities here at Emmaus to go overseas and shoot. There were opportunities, I mean, we're, there's possible opportunities yeah, for the athletic in, teams in the to works, go. Like down the road, we're, it looks like we're working on, um, uh, overseas, athletics missions trips which will be, be awesome awesome and amazing so we're we, yeah we have an alum down in columbia that i know you've mm -hmm. had talked uh about trips uh, mm -hmm. going down the, and there. there's possibility in potentially ireland for a soccer Boom. camp so yes. like there's opportunities out there so they're there and they're there. so mm -hmm. it's pretty much this whole summer we just spend either traveling and you know spending time uh, uh getting to be involved in different ministries mm -hmm. uh so it's really cool but um bring bringing in the students and we got to experience that last week when all the students arrived and it's just an, or oh, I guess man. this past week. Or Wednesday. Yeah. Like yeah. just, oh man, like so fun. so exciting to see everyone we've been talking to mm -hmm. for, you know, anywhere from 12 to two months and just having people around campus. Cause like, obviously like we're here for the people, mm -hmm. like for the people here to further our mission statement of educating and equipping learners exactly um, through scripture and just advancing, you know, the kingdom of God and, you know, when it's when it's just us on campus over the summer, it's it gets a little it's, it's, it's a little boring. It is boring. You got to deal with Eric. I mean, we're just time. rejuvenated by having the students there he is. here on campus, and so <laughs> the Eagles on campus now. So. It's awesome. It's, it definitely brings a lot of energy, and there's a uh, um, we're kind of we're trying to shift our focus. Even the to, future Eagle over there la true. laughing away. You can't really see him over yeah. there, but um, we got yeah. Uh, Shout out to Will Cunningham. He's our new uh, studio He's operator. our new voice of the heavenlies. Yeah, he'll be. If he does that, if he if Will is going to be doing that, then. Um, and you can't really blame Eric right now because okay. they, they have been practicing in like 100 degree heat. And so I'm, okay. I'm sure he's going a little. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> 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 they said they said to us listeners they said guys we're gonna give you like more personality we're gonna like let you get, get a little free and have have a little more fun on the podcast you know they have a little itinerary for us right here but here they are with the <laughs> like like what is this what is this come like ah oh. i'm trying to have a good conversation with my buddy matt about the, uh, the emmaus athletics you know but and here you are with the little eagles i like it it's, it's kind of cool Okay, I'm done with it. I'm just not gonna <laughs> acknowledge you guys anymore. Either way, we're shifting. It's been our, a while. We're back. Yeah, we're shifting <laughs> our gears, uh, changing the podcast a little bit. We got a name. We're gonna be incorporating new things uh, here and there. We'll talk about that throughout the show a little bit today. Uh, but like within us and admissions, shifting our gears to 2024. Um, so shout out if you're thinking about becoming an Emmaus Eagle, then you know athletic Come website visit, visit, visit fall 24 us. applications open. So we. How, this is what I, if you're around the Dubuque area or you have an opportunity to come to um, one of our events like Discovery Mace Weekend to watch our volleyball teams, basketball team, soccer, uh, team. soccer team, cross country, do it. We have a lot of home games coming up for soccer and exactly. volleyball since their season kicks off and this, tomorrow. This fall, there's been so much energy behind our athletic team. It's Oh, it's it awesome. is unbelievable. It's awesome to see. Like I haven't seen this buzz in a long time. Of it just, is so cool. It's ah, oh, that's all we can say is just how cool it is. But cool. it, honestly, it's addicting. Like I they, mean, it's not cool it, outside because it's so it's hot, not, but it's no. pretty cool. But it's passing on to everybody else. It is like all we're doing. Like, even the professors, mm -hmm. you know, the staff, like uh, even alum. I'm t I'm hearing alumni that are saying, "Hey, I've heard some good things about this uh, upcoming year," and I'm like. Just wait. Just I know. Wait. Everyone's You'll been see. talking about it whenever you can. Mm -hmm. It's it's really cool. So we pretty much have not like a whole brand new team for volleyball, but um, I would say they have four returners and six uh, incoming players. So there we go. Yeah, and like soccer had seven returners and thirteen incoming guys. Mm -hmm. So like it's it, a lot of new faces, a lot of new energy around mm -hmm. just representing the Emmaus Eagles and. I'm just really excited to see and when talking, all their hard work paying off, especially because they've been practicing for two weeks now. Yeah. And when Same with cross country, too. I think they had 
six returners and two or three new people. So, yeah. And when talking to uh, when talking to the uh, uh, volleyball coaches and players uh, here and there, just here, not just but the energy and how like seeing how fun uh, they're really creating the culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I mean, they're laying I'm, that foundation they for are. years to come. And they, I mean. I see the fun. I see the the community they've they've uh, created there, the spiritual community, and how they've they're not just creating uh, friendships, but Christ centered friendships. Mm-hmm. But uh, what I'm getting to here is kind of the, talking to the coaches and how a lot of these these girls they brought in this year are some of the missing pieces. Mm-hmm. You know, they're like these are the missing pieces. This they're these the pieces to build around. These for the are next- the. Exactly. Two, three, four years. These are the players that are going to take us to the Nationals, mm-hmm. you know? And then hearing about some of the other future players, mm-hmm. the ones that we already have in our funnel for next fall. Like, we already know? have a volleyball commit for for next season, and this oh. season hasn't even started yet. So you like, go. that's the excitement. Like, it is awesome. It's so cool. So, mm-hmm. Coach Buddy, Coach Megan have been killing it in the recruiting. They have. Uh, they're so personal. Uh, they're so inviting so hospitable and they just they bring in they bring in anyone to the family like you don't want to leave Mm-mm. and then like i said before in previous podcasts they will drive hours to meet mm-hmm. your family to meet you to watch your game so sit down have a meal with you mm-hmm. it's, so it's really cool to see uh, the energy around volleyball i'm so excited and uh i guarantee and this is definitely one of the more talented volleyball teams we've had in a while like top to bottom so even with soccer too yeah like both both squads are like from one to 21 to 10 like the talent is there like more so than it's been before Mm -hmm. it's like it's really fun to hear so coach megan uh the assistant coach we work with her with Mm -hmm. the assistant coach for the uh, volleyball team after their first practice she like came upstairs uh to uh back into the office she was beaming she was and we're Mm -hmm. she's just smiling Mm -hmm. straight smiling not even laughing there's no one around her just smiling walking with a smile and we're like oh everyone comes like Huddles around her a little bit. Oh, Megan, how's how's the practice? How's the first practice? And she just with a big old smile says, "That was the best volleyball practice Emmaus has ever seen. First, first practice, first practice mm-hmm. Emmaus has year. ever seen for a volleyball team. You know, given she hasn't been around, you know, long enough to see all that, but just that that confidence, mm-hmm. you know, and that's that that sincerity I mean, she's five of her years under her belt between Dude, player, manager, and coach. So like, she's yeah, she knows, she knows." But so that's just that's super awesome to see, and then also see like how all, all, all of them gather around each other and mm-hmm. um, the friendships are growing, the relationships they have been growing. But and then with soccer, soccer is the same exact thing. It is uh, having one of our coworkers, Luke Serwinski, um, a graduate of Emmaus, very recent graduate, played on the team last played year, played on the team, mm-hmm. been able to practice with them, has talked to us about it. We've gone to their practices. We've seen some, yeah. Um, and to kind of just to see the the skill and no and here's the thing I've been around the Emmaus soccer team uh, since kind of I, I started here I was the manager for most of my years at mm-hmm. Emmaus and um, we've had a I lot mean, of you've been around teams. the team for seven years I've been around the team for nine years like mm-hmm. we've we've seen lots and lots of soccer exactly like, and like we've really been around the team for because ha- soccer and volleyball both became an inter- intercollegiate sport in 2009 yes so we've really been around the team for half of its existence mm-hmm. so we've seen a lot. I was and uh, all the soccer guys like to joke about. Uh, or the previous years they've joked about uh, uh, me talking about the 2018 team because that was a team that won conference. That was a team that honestly, it's, it's a team that you look back on it like we should have done better. We should have went to nationals, right? We should have won uh, regionals, so should have gotten a bid. Um, a lot of a lot of that the, we didn't get the bid. Bec- you know, a lot of it had to do with strength of schedule, et cetera. But with that said, that's the that is the most talented EMA soccer team we've ever had. And I will say, uh, and I'm not blinded by optimism, but I will say with a, as unbiased as I can that this team that we have this year has the potential to be better mm-hmm. than the 2018 team. Is it going to be this year? Is it going to be next if we retain everybody? Is it going to be we'll three find years out. down the road? We'll see. But we will see. It took, it took the 2018 team two a, years to mm-hmm. get to where they're at. This team, though, I counted, and I was looking at the players that we brought in. There, We have a roster size of 20. Which and is a big roster. That's the biggest we've ever the thing. had, really. 14 of them, at least, 14 or 15 of them, are true soccer players. Like, they've played soccer their entire life. Mm-hmm. And that, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to take anything against past players or past teams. But a lot of time you rely on some just I mean, even, who are even when I played basketball here, I'd only played for, you know, four years of high school. Well, mm-hmm. There's 
there some of the guys I play with have been playing since they were five years old. They've been playing exactly. for 10 years. And so exactly. there's just a big difference between, you know, 10 years of experience mm -hmm. or three years of experience. Yeah. And so like just seeing, but seeing the amount of experience that they have is mm -hmm. just super exciting. I was, I love what coach McHugh said, how the floor was raised. Yes. The ceiling was raised, but the floor was raised. That's good. All across. And, and that's what you that's want. That's what you want. You really want that. It's really cool to see. And like, like I said, mm -hmm. like, we relied a lot on just athletic students mm -hmm. to step up and take a role. But now you we know? have mm -hmm. the athleticism and the soccer knowledge and skill and talent and IQ. And it's like, man, I'm so excited because the first test for soccer is going to come on Saturday in their scrimmage. And <laughs> yes, then, and then we college. jump right into it next yeah. Thursday against Maranatha. And who's volleyball's first game? Volleyball has a scrimmage uh, next week. And then their first uh, they go on the road to Manhattan to go play Manhattan, oh, Manhattan and they go play good. Berkeley. Manhattan is reigning conference champions. So it's going to be a good first test for them. Mm. So it's like we're jumping in right away. It's like, ah, oh, sports are back. I'm so excited. It is fun. I'm looking forward to that soccer game mm -hmm. against Maranatha. And Matt, let me tell you this. And let me tell you, listeners, um, I'm, I'm no uh, Charles Barkley. <laughs> I'm no Charles Barkley, but I, I guarantee, I, I guarantee... And I'll eat my words. <laughs> I'll eat my words if it comes to it. Someone's going to make a clip of this and make me look like a fool. So be it. But I guarantee a victory next Thursday. Is At it home. Thursday? Yeah. Next Thursday. Next Thursday on Jackfish Field, Emmaus beating Maranatha for the first time in school history in soccer. At home. At, well, no, just in period. Like at true, home yeah. away. We've never, uh, we've never defeated Maranatha. Never have in soccer. We tied them, mm -hmm. and that was last year. <laughs> that was a that crazy was, game, too, well, man. We should have won that game, but um, anyway. But speaking of, like, crazy highlights, crazy games, that's something we want to incorporate with this podcast this upcoming year is th bringing in some highlights. For um, a player of the week. And and, and, and player of the player week of the as week well. And highlight of the week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So kind of talking about... Um, in the past, we've been like, oh, that play, this is what happened, boom, 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 here's how the rules go, boom, boom. Instead of doing that, uh, our new uh, producer, Mr. Cunningham, is uh, or technician, whatever you want, what's, what's your technician, sure, is going to like throw up the, the highlight, and we'll be able to talk about it while you get to see it um, if you missed it, right? So it's mm -hmm. going to be an awesome uh, a new addition to this podcast. Uh, they want to also add, like you said, an, uh, um, was it a highlight? A highlight of the week. So we're going to have a competition of the top highlights, and then we're going to start a, you know, who wins it. Yes, the player of the week. Player too, of the week, yes. so... And we I, were talking about this earlier. Maybe yeah. we have, you know, an award. An award or I think it'd be really cool. Trophy, maybe? A trophy. Maybe like a mini, hand around. Mini, mm -hmm. like, uh, have you seen uh, Good Morning Football? Mm -hmm. How they have like uh, the angry runs and the like, angry run scepter. <laughs> like, it'd be cool to have something like that, you know, that uh -huh. we can pass to the players and whatnot. But, um, yeah, that's so keep, up to keep that. Yes. Keep a lookout for that. So that's going to be a fun part, a new addition to the if, podcast. If you think that would be a great idea of uh, a trophy, then talk to Chris McHugh. Mm -hmm. um, beg and plead to Chris McHugh for it. Maybe Eric Rasmussen too, you know? So, uh, but there's going to be a lot of uh, new things that they're going to mm -hmm. have. So I'm um, trying to see if there's anything else. They got Eagle Impact Performer of the Week is what they want to add, uh, which would be really cool. Yeah, so looking forward, um, our schedules for cross country for soccer and for volleyball are all out right now. Check them out on the website. Keep yes. in cool new video. Out. Yeah, cool new holy, video. Holy guacamole, man. That was like... I love that because when the NFL schedule release came out and I saw the Tennessee Titans, I'm a <laughs> I'm a Los Angeles Chargers fan. Get on my back, whatever. We had the best schedule release release ever, all the time. So but the Tennessee, was pretty good. Tennessee, they stepped up. <laughs> For those that don't know, they went on the streets of I think Nashville. And it they, is Nashville. They yeah. asked teams of Broadway, oh, what logo is this? And so they would say they would go through their whole schedule and say what thing first thing that came to their mind, and it was hilarious. Yeah. So like. Uh, <laughs> Like for they like oh they would show like uh, the Los Angeles Chargers logo not the team name which is just a lightning bolt showed it to the, some random people they were like uh, Lightning McQueen the Lightnings or and something then they'd show Lightning McQueen with the logo so it was super so funny. our genius uh, had like marketing a, people did that for oh, soccer yeah. and volleyball mm -hmm. and it was with uh, Emmaus uh, professors and staff members I'm gonna rewatch that it was pretty funny it was, so it was good. Catch, look at that on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Hey, I'm just saying that was my idea. I said we need to do this. <laughs> you know, I had no part here's, here's in. Shane. I, yeah, there thank you. you. <laughs> I had no part in like putting it together, 
But I said we need to do this, mm-hmm. you know, and then and we did. It. Everyone else went with it, but yeah. So keeping out for the awesome. schedule and then the the posts, the game day posts on all forms of social media, yes. and follow your Eagles that are upcoming to kick off their season, which we're super excited. And about. then also we have family and alumni weekend when September September twenty ninth and thirtieth. Boom! If you are a parent or of an a current student or alumni or even a friend of the college, please, please come. Come. Please. come. Sign up. They'll be sign. I think it's gonna the official sign up's gonna come out either today or this weekend. So awesome. keep an eye out for that. And we'd love to have you on campus and just fellowship with current Emmaus Eagles, mm-hmm. old Emmaus Eagles, somewhat old Emmaus Eagles, just mm-hmm. from through all the you know eighty four years of Emmaus Eagles that we've had, and just need an opportunity to see like all the great improvements around campus and watch a soccer game and a volleyball yeah. game, and there'll be an alumni game for and then alumni soccer game for soccer. So see. we have. I, I mentioned it before. The 2018 team is coming back for a five-year uh, anniversary, so that's gonna be really cool to see a lot That'll of my old friends come back. We'll have like Jake Taylor, Mason McCarl, Carson McBain, Tim Barton, Gabe Salinas. Shout out to all those guys. Sammy Katanga. I'm saying all their names. Of course, Elijah Barsness. He always makes a return. Um, the man, the with the legend. Hopefully, Coach Brown comes back. He usually Shout always out does. Coach Brown. We'll see. Waki Longo Ibake. I'm saying them all. Who else <laughs> am I missing? You know, Fabian Pada. Ah. There you go. <laughs> I just missed like the whole team, dude. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm missing someone. I might get some hate for it, but um, nah, that was uh, a great team, a great season. Um, and it would be awesome to see uh, um, all of the, it's going to be awesome to see all of them here, but for you listeners to stop on by. Yeah. And meet a bunch of people just to make connections and interact and hear your stories compared to other people's stories and just what stuck out for them when they were a student here. Mm. So, but I'm, you know, with all that said, Matt, I am so excited for not just not just this athletic season, but this this whole school year. I think, yeah, I think it's going to be a fantastic school year. And I'm just excited for, you know, the Lord has incredibly blessed us, especially this mm. year. And we're just yep. so thankful for everything he's done and just how, you know, people here have stepped up, people all across the world have stepped up. And we're just, we're going in a really good direction. And I'm just so excited. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great mm-hmm. year. Tons of energy. A great freshman class. Very good freshman class. You know, yes. it's, it's because I'm in admissions now and the Lord used me to bring in the best students. So <laughs> uh, with that said, though, uh, where it's about that time. And I just want to thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you for, you know, surviving the summer with I know. us. So sorry about that. We're going to be like I said, we're <laughs> stepping it up this year. Now You can be rejuvenated watching yes. this episode. We got a new name. <laughs> we got new programs. We've got new things to add to this podcast in the nest in the nest. We're going to be. Uh, more consistent, having a week, uh, a show every week that uh, mm-hmm. uh, comes out. And, you know, we're going to be interviewing students, athletes, uh, uh, what are they alumni, called? Coaches, alum. alumni and stuff. So, and so, and if you got any, if you got like any ideas, you know, ship it our way and we'll, we'll take anything, but we'll think about it. Exactly. We'll I guess, but uh, just thank you so much for just being patient with us and through this process. <laughs> and we're so excited for this school year for this athletic season. And like I said, I guarantee a victory next Thursday. Uh, no pressure on anyone. I'm the fool. That's good. I'm going to look like a fool if we lose, but I don't care, man. I, I'm going to have a guaranteed every week. How All about right. that? Oh, you know, man. or, or not once in a while, every week, once in a while, it's my, it's my, it's my new flair that I'm bringing to the podcast. It's going to be, you know, Shane's guarantees, you know, uh, it's going to look so much better if we win <laughs> against Maranatha. Then it's like, oh, then yeah, of course, you know, Shane's guarantee is a guaranteed. But with that said, uh, if you're interested in Emmaus, find us uh, our website, emmaus.edu, um, uh, for info requests or even just to apply uh, or athletic Amaze recruits. Athletics.com, go there, find all the up-to-date stuff. Like so. you said, follow us on all of our social media, our YouTube, et cetera, Twitter, um, really involved this year within social media and everything. So, um, all our games are live streamed on YouTube. So fall keeping out for those, it's going to be fun. So thank you for being patient with us. Tune in next week and thank you for watching in the nest. Go Eagles. Go Eagles. Go Eagles.